The U.S. Navy is seeking to add up to 35 new F-A-18 Super Hornets to its operations. Of the 35 requested, the Navy wants to add 21 from 2017 through 2021, and the other 14 are requested on the unfunded requirements list sent directly to Congress. An unfunded requirements list is a number of items that were not included in the President's budget request. These additional 14 Super Hornets will cost an extra $1.5 billion. Back in February 2016, the Department of Defense released its Fiscal Year 2017 program, where only two Super Hornets are requested for the Navy. The Navy was given $184.9 million in procurement funds for these two fighter jets. However, the FY17 budget also made space for $1,000.9 million for modifications to the FA-18 Hornet and Super Hornet, as well as $227.4 million for RDT and E. Okay, so how good are these supersonic all-weather planes? Boeing declares on its website that every single Super Hornet FA-18 has been delivered on cost and on schedule. The Commonwealth of Australia has 24 Super Hornets in use, and Boeing states that it delivered those Super Hornets ahead of schedule in October of 2011. Boeing also states that the Super Hornet has the cheapest cost of flight hour figure than any other tactical aircraft in U.S. Forces history. Some features of the plane include two of General Electric's F414 GE404 engines, which allow the plane to have a total 44,000 pounds of thrust and a top speed of Mach 1.8. The Super Hornet also has 11 weapon stations, which allows the plane to carry more than 400 configurations of weapons equipment. The Navy has repeated its needs for additional squadrons, and it wishes for Super Hornets to serve until 2040. Hopefully, the budget can be finalized before October 1st, 2016, and we'll see if the Navy gets its Super Hornets or not.